Hello and welcome to this Gridcoin pool tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to cover installing Boink and getting it to work on our Android phone with the pool. In order to do this we are going to install Boink, an APK editor, and then do our synchronization process with the grcpool.com. You will also need to have an account set up on grcpool.com to complete this task. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our Google Play Store and we're going to search for Boink and download it. And then after we find it, we're going to install. And after it is installed, we're going to open it. And then we will see a list of projects. And of course, we want to use an account manager. So if we go down and look at the account manager and look in the Dropbox, we'll see that GRC pool obviously is not there. And we find that there is no way to customize our list here. So this is the problem we're going to try to solve by using an APK editor on the Boink application. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to our Google Play Store and search for APK Editor. And once we find it, we're going to go through the same installation process and install our APK Editor and then open it. And then once it is open, we are going to choose the option to select APK from App. And then we're taken to a list of applications and we're going to find blank and select it. And then we're going to choose the Full Edit option. And then once our loaded screen comes up, we are going to choose files from the bottom on the folder icon. And then we'll wait another moment. And then when we see our list of files, we're going to search for values folder. Click that. And then we're going to find arrays.xml. Click that. What we see here is an XML file, which contains the list of account managers that are available in our blank application. So what we are going to do is edit this directly to add grcpool.com to it. If it's easier, you can replace one of the items completely with the grcpool.com URL. In this case, I'm going to add a new item um, by using the uh, item tags and the https colon slash slash www.grcpool.com. And you can follow along in the video. And once that's complete, I'm going to click the save icon. And then when we get back to the file list, I'm going to click save in the top right corner then it'll go through a four-step process to rebuild the APK and once that is complete I'm going to go and uninstall the original Boink application this will allow me to install the new Boink APK that we just created and after the uninstall is complete I'm going to go back to the APK editor and then install the new APK we created and we should see the app installed clicking done then going back to the home screen and then finding the Boink application in my apps, opening it. And now when we go to the account manager, we should see grcpool.com as an option in our drop-down list. And now we're going to enter in our user ID and password for the grcpool.com in our account manager and add the GRC pool. And on the right hand side, I'm going on the right screen in my browser, I'm going to do the same thing side by side. So we're going to have um, the grcpool.com logged in on the right and our account manager on the Android phone on the left. From within the account under hosts now, we can see we have an Android device listed. So we're going to start adding projects to that device. Now a good resource to use to know which projects are available for which operating system, you can go to the uh, Choosing Boink Projects list. And in this case, we're going to look for some projects that have the Android icon. So here I'm going to go through the process of choosing Enigma from the Dropbox and adding it and then saving it to our hosts and then go to our Android device and synchronize with the grcpool.com and we'll see Enigma appear in our project list. After a few moments I look at the task and see unfortunately this project appears to be throwing computational errors. So I'm going to return back to grcpool.com and swap out the projects for something else to see if I get a better result. And this time I'm going to choose asteroids and tell the pool to detach the Enigma at home project. And now I'm going to go back to our Android device and synchronize again. We'll see Enigma disappear and asteroids added. And then after a few moments we can see that this project is running successfully on the Android device. This particular Android device is an older Galaxy S3 model. So it's going to be fairly slow at generating any grid coin. By checking our account after a few days, 
we can see that there is some GRC being accumulated and we have a very small magnitude of uh, about 0.1. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at admin at grcpool.com or post on our new Facebook page. And thanks for watching.